Hey y'all. So, I have not had a great day. It's just been one of those days. There have been a lot going on. There has been a lot going on. And, yeah, it's just not been a great day. So, I am so happy that my stitch fix came. Because it was just kind of like a, just a light in the darkness, you know? It's just kind of one of those days where I really needed that. So I'm super excited to open this. And before we get started, before we get into any everything, I say we do ourselves a little Stitch Fix Day dance. Yeah, I think so. I think we need to have more dance breaks. Like I told you guys last time, I think dance breaks are important. So let's celebrate our Stitch Fix Day and do a little dance break. Ready? Okay, I uh, thought that the beat changed at a different point than it did, so I kind of fail sauced, but I'm, I'm getting better. <laughs> um, it did make me feel a little bit better to do that. So see, dance breaks are good. Um, also, really quick, sorry about the weird situation. I'm sitting cross-legged on a table. I am currently rearranging this room and this is what we have so far. <laughs> so let's go ahead and break into our stitch fix though so we can enjoy, oh maybe, there we go, we can enjoy it. Um, while I'm opening it, I just wanted to remind you all that if you're interested in trying Stitch Fix, you should definitely use my code. It's linked down below. Um, that was loud. When you use my code, you get $25 off and I get $25 off. So it's really great for you to get to try it for the first time and it helps support me and my channel. So I really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything to use my link. It basically just says, hey, I watched your video. I was like, I should try Stitch Fix. And then you use my code. That's literally all it does. So just a little FYI for you. The other thing that I keep forgetting to tell you guys is if you like these kind of videos, you should definitely like, comment, and better yet, subscribe to my channel because then I know that you enjoy these videos, that I should keep doing them, and when you subscribe, it means the world to me. And there's one more. I am going to do a giveaway when I reach 100 subscribers, so I highly recommend that you subscribe and you tell your friends to subscribe. I'm talking way too fast. Tell your friends to subscribe so that I can hit 100 subscribers and we can do a giveaway. Yeah, I'm super excited. Super, super excited. Um, I talked about the giveaway just a teensy bit more over in my BoxyCharm versus Ipsy for February. So if you're curious, go check out that video. Um, once I reach 100 subscribers, I will do the full big reveal and giveaway of everything. Ooh, I'm already getting super uncomfortable sitting on this table. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna pull out here is the card, and it has the note from the stylist. The part I always struggle with is not looking at the outfits because I don't wanna see them yet. Okay, so <clears throat> she says, Hello Megan, welcome to fix number five. I'm excited that you found some pieces that you loved from your last fix. I'm delighted that you loved all the soft knits and I loved watching your unboxing video. Your cat looks just like my Binks. I love that she... Oh hey, is this the Heather? Did you comment on my last video? If you did, thanks. Um, anyways, uh, I love that you have a black cat named Binks and I have a black cat named Kiki and it's like from Kiki's Delivery Service and yours is from Hocus Pocus. Anyways, it's a whole thing. I love it. I love cats. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> um, I focused this fix on your request for some boot cut pants for work and comfortable and casual tops. I held off on the cardigans and sweaters and floral. My husband thanks you. I started with some burgundy boot, bur oh, I cannot talk. I started with some burgundy bootcut trousers. Ooh, interesting. I don't think I've ever owned red pants in my life. 
I saw a similar pair on your Pinterest. Let's see if I'm a, as brave as my Pinterest. <laughs> pair these with the black Calvin Klein top for a dressed up but comfortable look for work. I also found an olive knit top that reminds me of some of your Pinterest pins. Try dressing this up for work or down for a casual day. I topped everything off with an active wear tee from Gaim. Gaim? I never know how to say that one. G-A-I-A-M. With a fun back cutout detail. Cool. Let me know what you think of this fix. Cheers, Heather. All right, Heather. I'm excited. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm better off just ripping instead of trying to cut. Okay. The cats just ran out of the room. Run away! Oh, very first top. Oh, this must be the active wear. Alright, I need to reposition. Hang on, this table is not working for me. Oh, this is super cute. It's got a super cute cutout detail and it looks nice and soft. I'll have to try, oh, look at that little detailing right there too. I'll be really excited to try this one on. I could definitely use another shirt like this for the gym. Next here, I've got the black t-shirt it looks like. This looks like it's going to be perfect for just a casual, like she said, dressed up or dressed down. This is exactly what I was looking for. Ooh, and it's got, it's like a knit top, but then the sleeves are a different texture, which is really interesting. Okay, this one is by Calvin Klein. Next, we've got... Hmm. 41 Hawthorne Zaria Split Neck Mixed Material. It really is mixed material. It's really interesting. I don't know. I'll have to put this one on to see. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Um, so it's got like the regular kind of blousey material, but then the rest of it's like a sweatery knit material. Um, I do like the green. But I'm just not quite sure what I think of the different materials. That's a little weird for me. Next here. Ooh, this is cute. It looks like I just got another just kind of casual tee. Oh my gosh. And look how darling this back is. It's got adorable buttons down the back. And it's kind of a bluish gray striped knit t-shirt. <laughs> And it looks like last in here, we've got the red maroon trousers. I am so nervous about these, I'm not going to lie. But part of my reason for wanting to do Stitch Fix was to try new things, expand my horizon. You know, if you watched the unboxing where I unboxed this dress, I never would have chosen this dress, but I absolutely love it. And today at work, I got so many compliments again on this dress. So... We're going to expand our horizons. All right, so I guess what that means is it's time for the try on. Oh, there's the keekers again. So it's time for the try on, so I'll be right back. So the first shirt that I decided to try on is this pink clover button detail back knit top. And I really like it a lot. This might be my favorite piece from the fix as of the moment. Um, it's got, you know, kind of the dark bluish colored stripes. The buttons on the back are just adorable. They go all the way down. And it just fits really nicely. I think it's going to be a really nice casual t-shirt for the weekends. I think it'll be something that I'll like wearing whether it's just to go out to dinner or if we're going bowling or whatever it is. I'm really excited about this particular top. So let's see what we have next. Next one I threw on is this 41 Hawthorne mixed fabric top. I am not sure that I'm going to keep this one. 
Even though I do like the way the top looks overall, the mixed fabric is just really kind of weirding me out. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it. Let's see what else we've got. So next up, I've got the black t-shirt, which I requested. Unfortunately, I really don't think I'm liking this black t-shirt. I really like the pocket. Um, the bottom detailing is like kind of weird, but I feel like it's something that I also might kind of like. But the top just fits really funky. Um, the armpits like really gape and are really low cut for me. And I just really don't like that. Um, the bottom really isn't my complete favorite. Like I would probably just prefer just a full on plain t-shirt versus one that had this extra to it. But the worst part for me definitely is the armpits just fit weird. So overall it just doesn't sit exactly how I would like it to over my body. So I'm super bummed because that means I still don't get a black t-shirt. But hopefully maybe next time we'll get one that's a little more my style and fits a little better. So let's see how the pants and the active wear shirt go. So this particular item is actually the pants, though I did get this shirt in my last stitch fix and I still love it. But take a look down here. I really wasn't sure what I was going to think of these red pants. They really kind of scared me because they're so different than anything else I've ever worn before. However, I just put this shirt on with them and I was like, hey, that looks kind of good. Maroon pants, kind of a dusty pink and brown top with a little bit of gray. I feel like overall it looks pretty good. Also, I feel like look pretty good back around here. I'm, I'm really tempted. I think I'm going to keep these, even though they are so different than anything else I have. Let me bring you back up. Anyways, even though they are so different than anything else I have, I do think I'm going to keep them because they are a different, a little bit of a different style for me. They're comfortable. Um, I probably need to lose a teensy bit more weight to really well fit in them, but I'm definitely right there. And it's kind of fun, you know? I would definitely want to keep receiving some slacks like this so I can have a more well-rounded work wardrobe. And so our last piece is our exercise top. So I'm gonna go put that on. So the last piece I'm trying on is the Gaim Active Wear Top. I'm kind of torn on this piece, about 50-50. I really like the top half, I like the sleeves, I really like the cutout in the back, and I really like the way it fits here. I'm so so on the bottom with the scrunchie and my husband did say that it wasn't his favorite which makes me like kind of waffle on it a little bit more. Overall it fits decently. It feels like it might not be the coolest shirt to exercise in. It's almost kind of soft which I love soft things but not necessarily when I'm sweating it up at the gym. So I'm going to go ahead and check out the prices and look at everything and then I will let you know for sure what I am going to keep and what I'm not. Okay, so let's take a look at our stylist cards and see what outfits they recommend for each piece really quick. I love how they always give you the options. It really is helpful for me because I'm never exactly sure what kind of outfits I want to do. Hmm. Alright, and let's go ahead and look at prices here. So the Calvin Klein black t-shirt is $38. The Gaim Energy Performance tee is $30. The Violets and Roses trousers are $58. The 41 Hawthorne tee with the button detailing is 42. Oh no, sorry. The pink clover daisy button back detail is 34. The 41 Hawthorne is the tank with the mixed fabric and that one is 42. So the prices are really good on this fix and if I were to keep everything, the total would be $131.50 after the $20 that I already paid. So $150, $150 total. I have decided I'm definitely not going to keep everything though for this box. 
Um, I really am not a huge fan of the 41 Hawthorne mixed fabric, and especially with it being $42, that's just not a shirt that I want to keep right now. Um, I didn't love the fit on the Calvin Klein black t-shirt, and kind of same with the Energy Performance tee. So that leaves me with just the button back t-shirt and the trousers. And I think I am going to go ahead and keep both of those. The button back detail tee is 34 and I just really liked the way it fit and I really love the buttons on the back. They are just so cute. And I do really like that the trousers are a little bit outside of my comfort zone. They do fit well. I need to lose a couple pounds to fit in them perfectly, but they fit pretty well. I think they're going to be a good addition to my work wardrobe. I actually think they will look really cute with this shirt particularly. So those are the two I'm going to keep for this fix. And I'm going to go ahead and send my other three back. And... Yeah, I still feel like this is a successful fix even after not being able to keep everything because I still got two new items that I'm really excited about out of this fix. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this fix. Let me know if you liked it, what you would have kept if you agree with my choices. Um, I would love if you would also like and subscribe. Once I hit 100 subscribers, we will be doing that giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.